They're not crocs, they're alligators, okay? These are off brand. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Today is August the first. I am feeling so motivated, so, so ready, so optimistic. <laughs> so I woke up this morning at, when well, my alarm went off at 5.30. So I woke up this morning and I did my devotion and I journaled and, um, you know, talked to God this morning. And so I was really, ex I was, I'm very happy that I got up at 5.30 because I've been trying to set the goal to get up within the five o'clock hour for the longest. My goal is to eventually get up by five o'clock, but I really don't have to leave the house until like eight o'clock. So that's really like three hours. But my goal of waking up early is to, for one, spend time with God and to just pretty much like set the tone for my day of like what do I need to do today I need to do x y and z um just to get my mood right and also to you know just to have some peace and quiet before the kids wake up because I feel like once the twins is up and then I go out drop them off get back home even if I get back home and it's like not noisy back at home it's still like I already been out and about so my mind is already going so I feel like my most peaceful moment is in the morning time so that what that is why i want to wake up earlier i just dropped them off to daycare but i'm about to go into 7-eleven right quick and get my green juice and a banana hold on y'all so i have a workout routine that i'm actually doing um so it's this app called playbook let me show y'all how it looks this is how it looks right here playbook it is an app that has like different um you know how like you might see somebody on instagram that has like a you know like a fitness page or whatever so this particular per person that i'm going by her exercises her name is chanel um, I don't know if you know her on Instagram. Her name is Chanel Delister. I don't know. But this is how it looks. Hold on, let me turn the, um, oh, the brightness is up. <laughs> this is how her page looks. That's her name right there. It pretty much has different like exercises. So what made me even download the app from the beginning was that she had this little, this program that she was doing, this fitness challenge that she was doing. And it was a body goals fitness challenge but she just recently put up a summer shed program which is a four week program i'm on the four i'm on a summer program and it like this is the workouts right here so right here you click on this says week i hope y'all can see it week one day one so you just click on that it tell you what you're doing that day as far as like what body parts you're exercising which we're doing glutes quads abs and cardio so when you go into the exercise for that day this is day one so this is how it looks like you have a warm-up and then it goes through all of the different exercises that you would be doing how many reps and then like just for example i'm going to click on the play button next to glute warm glute what is this is this a glute warm up oh yeah glute warm up so it has a video showing you how to do the exercise um and then at the bottom like if you scroll up then you can even add how many reps you did and yada 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 so i really like this book and i also like it because you know how like sometimes if you're on an app or a video that's trying to show you something or something like that it's like you can't listen to music while you're on that app because the music will stop you can still listen to music while doing this so i really like that um so that's why i might not be able to even show you guys the exercises that i'm doing today as far as that exercises but i'm gonna definitely take you with me when i'm doing the class because after i do these exercises then i'm gonna go do the body balance class which is at 10 30. that is the class that i've been taking um they do it tuesdays and saturdays at this gym the only reason why i haven't been going on saturdays is because the lady that teaches the class today she doesn't teach it on saturdays so it's just this thing of i don't know that person you know what i'm saying but 
I'm trying to learn how to that's another thing that I want to set a goal for myself is to try new things and stop thinking that oh I've never done this before so I might not like it or oh I've never um did a class with this person before so I might not like it because you never know if you might like it or not you might like it more than the person you've been doing the class with you know so that's what we're doing today so but as far as the workouts today we have to do the glute warm-up that I just showed y'all then I have to do the abductor machine <sighs> Ooh, Bulgarian split squats I hate that pull squats I mean it ain't too bad but oh my phone I mean my camera overheating all right y'all I'm about to drink my pre-workout I put it in a um, blender cup today is it a deck on mosquito in here like what is it something has tore me up just for simply from coming out of 7-eleven I got like four four bumps on me I know I taste good, but hey. My dad had called me when I was in my gym class, um, but I didn't answer the phone, of course, because I'm in class. So I called him when I left out, and he asked me if I could drive him to go pick up his car. So I had to go do that. Um, but in the midst of me doing that, I had to go get Khalil because Khalil has a bug bite on his ear. And it started yesterday, and I took him to daycare today. But she was saying that he was like kind of pulling on it and wouldn't keep the band-aid on his ear because you know like it's an earlobe so it's kind of like a funny shaped area and it was like leaking pus so i called the doctor to speak to a nurse to see if there was anything over the counter that i could do and she said that you need to come in because she was saying that she don't know like what bit him and you know it could affect him in other ways so bring him in so i brought him in let me see But in the middle of me doing all of that, I also had to call my insurance because I received the bill in the mail 
for like $1,200 for when my son had to get his teeth pulled. And I'm like, I already paid about $390 out of pocket for that visit. So I was like, well, why am I getting billed $1,200? So I called them and they told me that um, the, my insurance did not cover for him to be sedated because they said that it was not medically necessary. So I had to call my insurance to see how can I appeal that because it was def definitely medically necessary for him to get sedated because he tried I tried to take him to the dentist. He was trying to grab the needle, would not sit down. He was so scared. So I had to take him to an oral surgeon to get sedated. Y'all, so that was just, I had to deal with that. Yes, I'm talking about you. Uh, yeah, because you're expensive mouth. Your mouth is expensive. I'm paying for your braces, them teeth, and now I'm getting billed $1,200. For what? Because, you know what, for what? Because they saying that you didn't need to get put to sleep in order to get your teeth pulled. That's why. Yeah. I picked up Khalil. Now, mind you, when I was taking my dad to go get my, his car, that was, it was already 12 o'clock. The appointment that the doctor office had was one o'clock. So I had to rush and hurry up and do that for my dad, drive their car back to their house, then go pick up Khalil, take him to the doctor. I literally pull up to the doctor at 12.59. Pull up to the doctor, their system down, so they couldn't check me in. <laughs> but eventually he got seen, so she told me that he needs antibiotics for his ear because, hold on, matter of fact, I need to go ahead and give, them, give him this Motrin, y'all. They said that he need antibiotics. If he got white stuff all in his hair, that's because he poured powder all over his stuff. Anyway, so then after I left the doctor office, I went to take him to, well not take him, I went to Wegmans to go get some stuff for me to make an acai bowl. Um, and I had to stop and get him something, some chicken nuggets and fries. And y'all, y'all know the only thing I ate today from then to now, well y'all don't know, but I'm telling y'all the only thing I, Eight was that green juice and a banana. So I was like, usually I would be like, you know what? It's a lot going on today. It's a stressful day. Let me just go ahead and get some nuggets and fries and I'll just start over new tomorrow. Y'all, I sucked it up. I was like, I don't care how hungry I am. I'm not stopping to buy no food. I'm just gonna suck it up. So I was in the car eating my sunflower seeds. <laughs> so I went to Wegman, got the stuff for the acai bowl and for me to make dinner tonight. I'm making hamburgers. I'm gonna use ground beef for them. And then I'm gonna use ground turkey for myself. I bought this bread right here, which is some um, Odo Thins sandwich buns. They're vegan. Uh, but I like this brand because I usually get their everything bagel, but it just so happened to be vegan and I like it. But these are the bagels that I like of theirs. But these are the everything bagels. So, I got these so I wouldn't have to use like the regular um, sandwich buns. I was moving something over here for the dishes and I dropped the wine glass that my friend made me and it broke on the ground so I was sad about that. Then I made Khalil and Kehlani some food. When I was putting Khalil into his high chair, he kicked the food off the high chair and it fell on the ground. Then I was trying to take a nap y'all because I just was like, I'm so tired. Y'all know I told y'all I woke up early this morning. So my goal was to at least get an hour nap before I went to go pick them up. But I had to go. I never even was able to get home before I had to go pick them up. Because I had to get them early because I had to take Khalil to the doctor. What? Look at this. Look at him. I'm about to get locked up in that car hot chair. So then while I was trying to take a nap, I fell asleep on the bed and told them, I was like, sit on the bed. Sit. I put on my mama voice, you black now move off the bed. Y'all, I woke up. Let me show y'all what Khalil was doing. I had powder. Y'all see this powder on the floor? Going up the steps, on, on the floor. They got their potty stuff all over the floor. It's trails of just powder, powder, powder. Lord. So, long story short, I, uh -uh, get out of there. That's not a toy. Do that look like a drawer? What well, is a drawer? Do that look like a couch, a sofa? No. Hold on, let me put them in a hot 
high chair, y'all. Hold on, because they tripping now. Come on. Uh-uh. Let's go. High chair. Go. Come on. They're strapped down in their high chair. So, I took a shower. And then, um, yeah. So, now we're here. <laughs> This is the finished product. This is how the sandwich is looking. The bread make it look a little funny, but it's okay. I tried to go with this bread because it's thinner, healthier, you know. I like these sweet potato pies. I just don't like cooking them. Because they always stick to the pan. Even when I put oil on it. Or when I had put oil on it. it like nonstick oil. It didn't. If y'all can see Khalil right now. He literally. Let me take a video. I can't even get him from this angle. He's literally sliding across the floor, but with his forehead. I'm like, I know your forehead is burning. <laughs> this is my first time making a homemade turkey burger. And it's good. All right. I'm about to eat. And then go to sleep, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. The next morning, obviously. Whew, I've been up. I slept in today, y'all. I slept in today. You know, I told y'all I'm trying to wake up within the five o'clock hour. But today, I was like, mm, today definitely gonna be an exception because yesterday I was so tired and my body was tired. Mm -mm. I don't do my full full makeup routine until after the gym. I mean, I make up skincare routine until after the gym. So right now, I'm just about to wash my face. You know, I use the CeraVe. It's gonna be backwards on y'all and because I'm using my phone. All right, and then I'm gonna just follow it up with this. Um, I just started using this, y'all. Oh, I didn't even know it said National Eczema Association. Y'all see that? But I actually learned about this product from this girl on TikTok. Her skin was glowing. So, you know, everybody in the comments like, what is your skin routine? What is your skin routine? Skincare routine. So... She went through her products that she used, and one of them was this one. And this is the La Roche Posay Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. It's for extra dry skin, body, and face. It says National Eczema Association. It says Shea Butter, Niacinamide, Ceramide 3, Dermatologist Tested, Fragrance Free, um, suitable for babies and adults. So I've been using this since I started using it when I went to DC. So that was July 21st and today's August 2nd. Oh, now I'm just taking my Fenty moisturizer sunscreen with sunscreen. I don't use a lot of this because when I'm sweating in the gym, if the sweat happened to get in my eyes, oh my gosh. This mess burn. You do not want to get that in your eyes. At all. And that's it. That's all I do for my um, gym skincare. But back to what I was saying as far as this. I really like that. It it does, it does it has been doing my skin good. Um, And that was one of my things that I wanted to do as far as creating a habit of having a skincare routine that 
is a good skincare routine because at first all I was doing was using cleanser and I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer, which that was doing me good. I really like that Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer. I still do like it. It's just that I feel like I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or, you know, the seasons or just my body changing. But my face, I was noticing that my face was doing really bad, y'all. Like in this area, and, and it started out in this eyebrow, then it went to this eyebrow and my eyelids. Like my skin was doing really bad. So I was like, well, obviously I need some more, um, I needed some more moisturization in my skin. And I didn't like how my skin was looking very dull. So I was like, let me try it. And I thought it was like something expensive for real, for real. But when it just so happened, I was in Target. Don't mind this curtain, y'all. I hate, I, I ain't gonna say I hate shower curtains. Personally, I just don't, like, I don't think that this bathroom is meant for a shower curtain. It's not, honestly, it's not. But he takes a shower in there instead of in the other, like, in the glass door shower because he said it's more space. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I thought it was something that was expensive or something. I just so happened to be in Target, and I was just walking past. And they had that, like, on one of the little tables, like, at the end. So, I guess they was trying to, you know, get people to buy. And uh, they had, like, uh, the whole line of it. So, yeah. So, I think today I'm going to wear these red shorts. If I can pull them out. Those red shorts. And then I think I'm just going to wear a white shirt. It's later now. It's about 3 in the morning. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Three in the afternoon. I'm about to make me an acai bowl. Y'all saw me make this before. But I'll show y'all again. Do anybody else always smell they still? I be like, I need to make sure I don't smell funky because my kids, the way that they be putting stuff up, they be dirty. Trifle. I'm actually gonna film a little video on it too. You know, to get the content. Don't you worry about a thing. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Bowl, the bowl is done. I repeat, the bowl is done. I'm about to eat y'all because I'm starving like Marvin. I don't get enough of you Baby girl I'm into you Tell me what I'm supposed to do Can't get you out of my mind My mind My mind My mind Can't get you out of my mind My mind My mind My mind I know it ain't been long since I knew you Hey y'all, I forgot to check in with y'all and let y'all know what's going on. So after my nail appointment, I had to go to my hair appointment, which I'm on my way to right now. I had to travel to Richmond because remember I told y'all I got my hair done in Richmond. So I'm going to the same girl. She's just going to touch my hair up. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, that's why. I, but I'm only going to get the front part redone because I'm just getting a touch up. So the back part, I'm going to leave. Do I go straight? I hope so. I would think. So that's what we're doing. She's going to cut out the little um, curly parts. And I got some more hair to put in the curls. But this time I got more of a looser curl and I got like a human hair, human hair um, blend because this one is just straight the synthetic y'all and it is nappy. No matter how much mousse I kept adding, it just was nappy. So, but the human hair of course is a little bit more expensive, but that's all right. But anyway, y'all saw my nails already, but here 
look at my nails. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting used to I like them. They're just very colorful. Which I'm not really like. You would think I'm used to colorful like that. But this is like colorful. This is giving Cosmo and Wanda. This is giving I'm in the AKA. And none of those things are accurate. So yeah. But it's still cute though. Yeah. But I am tired y'all. I'm not really that person that can um, drive long periods of time. I be tired like falling asleep like car rides still put me to sleep that'd be the best sleep ever and then it's like you always wake up when you get into your destination like you always be on cue to wake up when you get into your destination happy saturday you guys I just woke up not too long ago, but I did brush my teeth before I came in here and talked to y'all. I didn't even tell y'all I got back home last night, but here's my hair. So as you can see, I went with a different design, more simple, just kind of straight. And I also got um, new curls put in. I don't even know if you can even tell, but I got new curls put in. This is the brand that I got this time. Q Milky Way Human Hair Master Mix. So it's not fully human hair because the lady was saying that, you know, the human hair would be like 40 something dollars and I didn't want it just for this. But, um, yeah. So hopefully this holds up. So that's my hair. And I also got it longer this time. I'm gonna dip my ends today because they look looking raggedy. My care of package came in you know as i told y'all i'm trying to start creating healthy habits so i ordered i want i was gonna like order different supplements but then i was like you know what let me just try one of these brands that i'd be seeing promoted that has like a mixture of supplements in a packet <clears throat> so i don't have to like buy individual um bottles so I went with Care Of, I completed the quiz, and I did show y'all how it is and what questions they asked, just in case you wanted it to complete it yourself. So I'm gonna show y'all that. All right, y'all, so I'm just showing y'all how the quiz looks and what type of questions that they ask you. Of course, I'm not gonna go through every single one with you guys, but I just wanted you to get a feel of what questions they asked in case you were interested and getting the vitamin packs. I will say that so far since I've been taking them, I really like the fact that I don't have to open individual bottles with you know, every single step because that can become time consuming. I love how I could just open, open this packet and all of the vitamins are in one packet. I still do have to take my vitamin D separately because the pack that I got, it does not include vitamin D in it, even though there is one in there that is for like energy and things like that. But I wanted, I, I really like my vitamin D. Like I feel like it is doing a good job. Um, but, and I also take chlorophyll separately. Also, I put that in my drink, but I will say that so far, I really am loving the vitamin packs and I love that I don't have to open a whole bunch of individual bottles. You know what I'm saying? Even if I went to the store to buy the individual bottles, that can get costly also. So I just feel like not having to do that and everything is all in one is perfect. So they just ask you an array of different questions so they can find out which pack is the best for you. Um, I wish that the one that they gave me did include vitamin D, but it did not. But I was like, you know what? That's okay because I already take the vitamin d gummies at home so if you're interested in this you guys i'm gonna have the link in the description i did use Aaliyah's face code because it gave you 50 percent off um she did a sponsorship with them so i use that but hopefully well i'm not even gonna say hopefully y'all i'm gonna speak it into existence one day i will have a code that i could provide you guys so you could use my code but for now i'm just gonna give y'all Aaliyah's face code you know what i'm saying because i ain't no hater whatever <laughs>
So you open it up. This is how it looks. And I haven't taken it at all yet. Take care of me for Yvette. And then this tells me what is in mine. So I got, it's a how's it going? Your personal life supplements are here in this box. You'll find everything you need for the next 30 days. I have questions, yada, yada, yada. So y'all, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. So listen, honey. we're going to read along. Okay. I got rhodiola for stress and mood. We're going to come back to that one. Vegan, or is that vegan? No, vegan? I think it's vegan. Collagen, collagen joints for joint health. Chromium plus apple extract made to support m m metabolic health. <laughs> I'm struggling this morning. <laughs> Probiotic blend for gut and immune health. Iron, important for vegetarians. And astaxanthin? for skin and eye health. I also have my vitamin D. I wish they kind of gave me one of the vitamin Ds in this, but I guess I did not answer my quiz for them to give me that, I don't know. But the iron, I really don't know if I need the iron, but the reason why I, I think I chose iron, because when I was pregnant, but I don't know if it was just because I was pregnant or not. When I was pregnant, my iron was really low. So I don't know, child. Anyway, welcome to Care Of. We're committed to helping you feel a real difference from your routine by building healthier habits. Oh. See, we on the, we align, baby. Healthier habits. One day at a time. If you ever need anything big or small, we just an email away. Okay, and then it just give you a little booklet to read, a pamphlet, whatever. Set up your routine, recycle and compost your packaging, download the app. Oh, they have the app. Okay. And the back of my head is itching. I need an oil it today. Cause my, it's this bad. And it comes in this little, Look, I'm, I'm telling y'all like I know. This is, we, 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 we experiencing this together. It comes in this package right here and they have a slit at the bottom. So I could just put this, um, see the thing is I would prefer to put it in my bathroom, but I don't know if you need to eat with this. So maybe I could just put it down here on the counter so I can be reminded, pull it. Oh, I really love this. Y'all, I am so slow. Why when I was looking at the pictures up here, y'all see one of them is a dog bone. I said, ain't no dog. Why they got a dog bone up here? Yep. It's a bone. Anyway. Hi, Yvette. Today's quote. Let's read it together, you guys. Love yourself first and everything else falls into line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in this world. Lucille Ball. I know that's right, Lucille. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is the packaging that is in. How do you, oh, it come with a little rip tab. Okay, care of. I like that. I'm a sucker for things that have um messages on it. But it don't say nothing about eating. Do you have to eat with this? Cause it don't say nothing about that. Oh, it do. First things first, always take your vitamin pack with food and water, preferably at breakfast or lunch. Okay. Well, I'm not about to eat right now, but I just wanted to show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, but I do wanna show y'all how am I supposed to know which is which? Oh, they got pictures. I want to show y'all how the vitamins look and then I'll just take it a little bit later when I actually eat. Cause I don't eat this early. Let's open it. Am I open? Lord, how am I open it now? Okay, yes, that way is much easier. <laughs> okay, so this one is the one that I could not pronounce. X astaxanthin for skin and eye health. Then this one, child, I don't know, honey. They all look the same. <laughs> I think this one is the iron one. 
important for vegetarians. And then <clears throat> I think this one is the chromium and apple extract. This one is the rhodiola. And then this one, I don't know. These two look kind of similar, but one of them is the collagen and the other one is the probiotic blend, but yeah. So this is how they all look. They're all capsules. Just I wanted to show, I do I wanted to show y'all the actual uh, supplement just in case because if you are interested in getting it you know some people are really big on how it looks and honestly I don't know you know how like some people they don't like the um they, if it's a capsule they like to open it <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they'll tell you that. Oh, this is the, oh, they give you a, a long list of the supplement facts for each one. I like that. I like that I don't have to open 50 million boxes or containers to get my supplements. Okay, so I'm going to take that for breakfast. Let me take a quick little picture because I probably will use that for my thumbnail. Un momento, por favor. I need to get up on the go lens clean cleaner. I saw um, Aaliyah's face talking about it in her Amazon video. She was saying something about instead of using your clothes, because baby, I use my clothes all of the time. I also wanted to show y'all um, what I got from Marshall yesterday, because y'all, yesterday after I left the day on nail salon, right? I went to Marshall and i got some stuff and i was like man like this marshall's is close to my house and i was like, i need to start going here more often because they have some good stuff in there and i'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all why i go along so when i first walked in you know back to school so i seen that they had lunch boxes so they had these, so they had these lunch boxes i got two of the nike lunch boxes my eight year old, he picked out this one and then this one is for my 12 year old. Now, the only thing is, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, but the book bag that I got for my eight year old, cause they didn't have a book bag for my 12 year old. The book bag I got for my eight year old already had a lunchbox attached and I did not know. Oh, I thought I heard one of them twins. I did not notice it. So now I'm like, should I take this back? But this one is so nice. Like it's hard in the inside. It says, just do it. <laughs> And this was $16.99. Both of them was $16.99. So I was like, man, I don't know if I should take it back or what. I don't know. And this is the book bag that I got for him. And you see how this lunchbox is like just soft. But this is the book bag. I don't know what character this is, y'all. He said that he wanted this one. It was either this one or Spider-Man. He chose this one. And this is actually a five piece set. See, this is how you know I was in a rush because I didn't even read it. But it comes with the backpack, an insulated lunch bag, a supply case, a carabinder clip, and a keychain puller. So this is the supply case, um, the keychain, and the carabinder clip, and the lunch box. And this one was. $16.99 also. So I got that. That same day, I needed to go to Target to go get some more of my Dr. Bronner bar soap because that's the only that's the only soap I use, y'all. I only use Dr. Bronner's because I mean, of course, like I might like the first, I always firstly clean my body with Dr. Bronner's. Then if I want to use something like I have this like type of glow oil, I might use that after that. But first, I only use Dr. Bronner's. I feel like Dr. Bronner's is the only thing that gets me clean. I used to use Dove, y'all. But after going to Dr. Bronner's and seeing how clean it made me feel. Why she sent me $32? Oh, for the hair. 
Dr. Bronner's and seeing how it made me feel, I just was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to, you know, keep going with that because it's like I tried to go back and it just wasn't going. So I needed to go to Target to get some more, which in Target is, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all the exact price because I don't wanna be like, it's like, I wanna tell y'all the price difference. Target, so it'd be like $5 or some change. So when I went into Marshall's, they was in there for $3.99. Now I know that's not a huge difference, but it's cheaper y'all. And right now I am trying to intentionally, can y'all see it? Cause this they going short enough for it's $3.99 and I'm trying to intentionally spend, you know what I'm saying? If it's, listen, this is how I feel when it comes down to spending money. If I know that I like a specific type of soap, I'm not going to go to a cheaper soap just because it's cheaper. I'm going to stick with what I know, right? But if I can find my soap cheaper, I want to start doing that because I'm the type of person where I'm like, I'm more so over convenience versus price. So like if I'm in Target and I need some soap right in and there, I'm not about to be like, oh, I'm gonna wait and go to Marshall's because it's cheaper in Marshall's. I'll just be like, I'm already in Target. By the time I go to Marshall's and use gas and all the other stuff, it'll be the same price. So I just wanna start intentionally going places where I know that it's cheaper. So I won't just be spending money unnecessarily because I swear every paycheck, I'll be like, what do I have to show for anything that I spent? So I'm sick of that. So anyway, I got two of the bar soaps. Also, I needed some lotion because I ran out of the lotion. So I got this one for me. I got the Nivea, this is their um body cream rich nourishing with deep moisture serum and almond oil this was $6.99 yeah I do like the Nivea oh got a little cap on it I do like the Nivea um let me see let me put on my eczema right quick I usually use the year serum but the year serum is $11 okay I can get down with this. It's not as, I will say this one is not as visibly moisturizing as the Eucerin, but that's okay. That's okay. And the only reason why I say that's okay is because um, when I will go to the gym after putting the Eucerin on, I will always be sweating my Eucerin off because it's so moisturizing. And I remember this lady, she was trying to put like a Band-Aid on me at the doctor. And she was like, oh, you use some good lotion, huh? Because the Band-Aid wouldn't stick. So in this hot weather, the Eucerin might not be the best idea. Okay. So I got the Nivea. $6.99. Let's see how much this costs in Target and compare. The only one that I see there... And this one is ten dollars so yeah so i got this for 6.99 and then i also got the actual nivea um lotion for my son um this is just a nourish, nour nourishing lotion body milk do they have this here i want to make sure i got a deal but i was hyped by oh my god i got it for me I don't see this specific one in there, but they all range from like seven to ten dollars. So this one was five ninety nine. And then I also got my son some Nivea body wash because my son liked to use body wash with his his little loofah. I'd be like, you know what? I can't even say nothing because you like what you like, and I want to expose my kids to stuff that. You know what I'm saying? I want them. I don't want them to feel like that they gotta use body. So if you want a loofah, you can get a loofah, baby. Okay. Um, I got me a razor. We are gonna try that today, y'all. I don't know. I need to look up some videos first. Oh, excuse the crust of my eye, Lord. I need to look up some videos first to see how am I supposed to like? Cause I don't want. Listen, I'm not trying to shape it shape it i just want to get the access stuff that's grown in because i ain't got time for all the other stuff so i got this little case right here it comes with let me see it's a brow razor set it don't say what's what anyway it looked like it's it's six razors um two of them is really small 
yeah so i'm gonna look up a video today to see how to do it and then this one was 4.99 and then i also got some tweezers um just to, in case i needed to tweeze out some hairs and also because i needed some new ones for my um eyelashes to put on because i keep losing it this one was 3.99 oh no well i'm gonna show y'all that later because i don't feel like going upstairs to get it because she up there she up now i hear her because i hear her daddy fussing at her and i don't want her to see me because she might want to come with me and i'm about to drink my coffee <laughs> so um but this is the box though i got her some twinkle toes sketches and this is how the shoe look right here and the toe part it, it lights up even though, like, I'm not really a fan of those light-up shoes. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but my eight-year-old likes some. Do y'all remember when I had to go search to find a Skechers for him for Christmas because he wanted some light-up shoes? And I got him some light-up shoes for Christmas. But, you know, now that I have a girl, she like all of that stuff, y'all. She like, she be real mad in the morning when she want to wear something pink and a, or a dress or something. And I put something on different for her she be real mad <laughs> so i said i'm gonna get my baby some shoes because i like these they were 20 it was on sale for 20 dollars also I, I the other day y'all i got her some dip on um they're not crocs they're alligators okay these are off brand <laughs> so i got her these from bj's 7.99 7.99 and one thing that i look for when i'm if i'm buying a like a similar like a shoe that looks similar to crocs but it's not crocs one thing i look for is to see if it's soft like the crocs because sometimes those shoes be hard if they're not actually crocs and yeah these are soft because i wanted her feet to be comfortable so i got these for her and they was on sale they was like normal price 15 dollars, but they was on sale for 7.99 also when i went in marshall's they had actual crocs in there with the fur inside because y'all know it's about to get back you know fall outside $25 which is good y'all that is good because them crocs with the fur inside they are more expensive so yeah anyway i'm about to make my coffee you guys which i'm kind of not looking forward to because all of my coffee cups are getting ruined and i'm so upset so y'all remember those last coffee cups that i um bought that is actually in my amazon storefront i bought those cups y'all all four of them broke all of them even though those cups are cute, I feel like they're cute. I love them. They are easily breakable. They the, the glass that they are made out of is very thin to the point where if a little drop, a little drop, like literally in one day, one morning, I broke two of the cups and it simply broke because one of them had like, um, it was like, it was on the counter and I had put something on the counter and it kind of like fell over. So that broke. And then the other one, I don't remember how it broke, but all of them broke like really easy, which I don't like, but I would buy it again just because I like how it look. But I said that this time, instead of me ordering it off of Amazon, I'm going to try to go to somewhere like at home, TJ Maxx, Marshalls to see what they have as far as the cups, because they be having some stuff in there. So I don't have any of my glasses anymore. And then my Starbucks cup, this one in the dig on dishwasher. I don't know what happened, but in the dishwasher, I don't know if y'all can see that it's kind of like bent right here. It got bent. It's not like a full circle. It's not like a, a like a straight circle. <laughs> it's not, <coughs> what's a straight circle? I don't know. But anyway, the top won't go on like, It'll do that, but it's still like up on the side because it won't go on. So I might just use this one and just suck it up. <laughs> also, you guys, you know, another thing that I said that I'm going to start doing, which I did want to go with y'all and I might, we might go today, y'all. Might, heavy might, heavy might. And the only reason why I said heavy might is because today I'm actually going to rich one, Richmond with two of my friends. There's like a day party out there and my friend invited me to go. Even though I just made a trip to Richmond yesterday to get my hair done, I'll do it. Cause this time I ain't driving. 
My lips felt dry, y'all. I had to put some on. Best lip gloss in the world. I know mine's a little dirty because the makeup and stuff, but from Bath and Body Works, y'all. Anyway, you got them? <laughs> you got your shoes? <laughs> you got your shoes? Okay. Come on, let's put them. That's the wrong foot. No. It's the wrong foot. Oh. <laughs> you need me help? You want me to help you? Girl. Just let mommy help you. Can I help you? Can I help you? Okay. I can help you now. Let me see how to Twenty dollars. Hi. <laughs> okay, back. Oh, girl. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> my face is pretty dry right now because I just washed it and I only put toner and my vitamin D stuff on it. But it said to brush your hairs up. So I feel like my main part right is right here and right here. Y'all know I barely have any freaking eyebrows. So which ones do I even use? Being that I don't know what I'm doing, I need to go small. Let me see. I'm scared. How do I do it? Like, or do I go like this? I don't want to cut myself. I'm so dramatic. put my eyeglasses on y'all that's 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 all I'm doing to this brow because I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared I can't do no more I ain't even do much of nothing I'm scared though Oh, I got a little blood. Did I cut something? I don't know, y'all. I feel like I cleaned it up the best that I could. I won't try to do too much. They look okay. <laughs> I ain't do much. All right. Y'all already saw the jumpsuit before. I just have on some slides. <laughs> Did my makeup, hair, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. I'm about to, um, dang, it's 155 already. So, y'all, I have, I told y'all, I'm trying not to spend money like that. So, I've become a cheap girl. <laughs> um, instead of me paying for drinks, I have this right here that I bring and you actually can pour alcohol in here. That's the purpose of it. Like it, it was never sunscreen. It was always for alcohol. I bought it off of Amazon. Cause y'all, when we was in DC, let me tell y'all how they was tripping. Like the vibes at the park was really cool. Like they was good vibes. However, the dead one, 
drink prices? Oh my gosh. A shot of um a shot of Casamigos was $40. A shot. I can buy an entire bottle for less than that. So you think I'm about to pay that for a shot? Absolutely not. Like the way that these places are raising prices is crazy because it's just like, honestly, I feel like we are really in a time where everybody is like, I'm not gonna say everybody's struggling because everybody is not struggling, but I feel like in some way, shape or form, the, the, the rise in prices have affected you. Some way, shape, or form i don't care what nobody say it has affected you some way shape or form <laughs> even if you got the money to pay for the stuff it still has them prices has raised risen so i just y'all uh -uh. but this is the fit i can't really show y'all my house dirty right now y'all it's like you know what y'all know i got kids oh, i'm here This is the fit. Well, the only thing I don't like about this jumpsuit, it keep falling down. But I have to go, you guys. I don't know what happened, but I don't know how much I'm gonna film. Cause I'm just trying to do it myself. But to tell y'all of a new update for my channel. So y'all, these kids is loud. I can't include my window because y'all in the window because I wanted y'all to be able to see me. Just ignore the kids. Um, they having a ball, obviously. But y'all know the name of my channel has been All Things Yvette. <clears throat> if you're new here, obviously you see it's All Things Yvette. If you're old here, you know it's All Things Yvette. But I wanted, I've been wanting to change my channel name for some time now because i just felt like a lot of people had like all things something like whether it's on instagram their youtube channel name i just felt like it was so like common so i wanted something differently and the only thing that really came to my mind was to change it to unapolog unapologetically yvette but like unapologetically comma yvette like pretty much like signing off on a letter you know how people be like sincerely such and such or best regards such and such i wanted to put unapologetically yvette because the whole goal of my channel was to you know like i told y'all before to show people that you can still be a mom and a young mom and still better your life and your life isn't over even though that's what everybody says so that is the whole thing of, of revolving around my channel like i just want to be unapologetic unapologetically myself not caring what nobody's saying not apologizing for nothing as far as what i'm doing with my life or how other people think that i should be living my life no so i'm gonna i was gonna ask y'all opinion on the name but i think i'm just gonna do it y'all because th that is the name that i like and i really couldn't think of anything else um that i like that was what came to my mind so i'm gonna change my name to that i don't know how the ins and outs of that also i need to figure out because i do have um a LLC for all things event so I'm gonna have to figure all that out child I don't know but let me know what y'all think of the name if y'all don't like it I can't guarantee that I'm gonna change it sorry <laughs> but yeah I just I'm trying to figure out my logo because right now this is the logo that I made for it you know how like at the bottom of the screen so if you're watching right now on in the bottom on the right hand side i usually always have like some type of logo i usually have a ATY with a heart for all things event so this is the logo that i made for it however when i put it on one of my videos just to see how it would look you couldn't really see this part because of the font that i chose so i think i'm gonna go with a different logo so whatever logo you're seeing let me know if you like that one or not um 
but yeah y'all i feel like with this new era that i'm in the year 30 i just feel like that i can no longer waste my time because even though i have always said that i don't care what people think i'm gonna do me yada 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 i do feel like subconsciously i do allow that to stop a lot of the things that i do in life as far as like putting myself out there i stop that a lot because i'm like mm. because even with how i dress like i remember when i first got pregnant with the twins and i was pregnant with them well obviously i said i first got pregnant but when i was pregnant with the twins i told my sister that once they came here i was going to change my wardrobe up because i'm a very colorful person and i was like i just don't want to be wearing all these colors and i got four kids that i'm about to be 30 and yada 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 but it's like why is color associated with being immature why is it that when people get older unless that's just what you want to do but why is it that when people get older and they reach a certain level of maturity then it's like you want to go with nudes and black and whites and yada 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 and even though i feel like that's so cute because that might be the theme that i make for my bedroom but as far as like my office room as y'all know like my office room like my canvas wall like my canvas wall is nice and like just colorful like it's no theme to it it's just Every, like a little bit of everything up there you know but i like that i feel like that it just brightens my mood like i really like that so like when i'm wearing certain things that might be the vibe that i want to go with now i feel like if your if your style changes naturally then yeah that's fine but i don't want to make decisions for my life based upon oh now i'm 30 or oh i'm a mom or oh yada yada like i just want to naturally evolve naturally mature naturally do what i want to do unapologetic uh, i can't even say the damn name i can't even say the name and i'm talking about some oh, i'm gonna change my name you can't even say it you're gonna be on stage trying to introduce unapologetic <laughs> unapologetically i want to be myself so that's where I'm at with that. So if you're watching this and you see a new name, which you should if you're watching this, then that's why I changed it. But as far as everything else, y'all, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I need to start saying that. Even though I be putting it on the screen with my little graphic, I need to start saying it. If you like this video, y'all, help me out by subscribing um even though honestly the subscribers is not what really gets you the money it just gives you i guess the recognition by other brands to be able to be like oh she has a following but what helps me is for you to watch the video in this in its entirety because like if you don't watch it in, in its entirety youtube will um like the percentage view will go down and it won't push it out to other people what also helps me is liking the video and i know how it's so easy to like just not do it even if it's somebody that you support because it's so many people that i be supporting and i'll have to intentionally remind myself okay let me like this video but like so liking the video and commenting is what helps even if you have multiple things that you want to say you don't even have to put it all in one comment you can leave multiple comments because youtube just recognizes it as engagement so when they start seeing a lot of people engaging with your videos then they be like oh people like this let me push it out to other people and that's the goal to keep getting pushed out you know so that's how y'all can help me one by liking the video commenting even if it's just something simple something you ain't got to say much because i listen y'all when i be watching people videos i be like i don't even know what to say but just something simple hey that time time <laughs> you know what i'm saying just something um so liking the video commenting and subscribing if you're not subscribed so you can know when i upload and everything like that and watching the video and in its entirety okay so i love y'all so much thank you for supporting me i appreciate it and i'll see y'all in my next video my next video all right bye <laughs>